Tesla Powerwall 2 Plus, Generac Power Cell. Which is the best solar battery backup system for whole house backup? We're going to be answering that question and much, much more in today's video. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their home set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And of course, here at Solar Surge, we do that using clean, renewable energy, solar power, with battery backup, and sometimes even generator backup systems as well. Now, in today's video, we're going to be doing a follow-up comparison to one of our most popular videos from the spring, which was the Tesla Powerwall versus Generac PowerCell. But today's video is going to be a little bit different because we're looking specifically today at which is the best solution for whole house backup or heavy load backup for people that want to run pump motors, water pumps, and air conditioners. Which of these two systems is going to give you the best performance and the best bang for your buck? All right, now we're going to be doing the evaluation in five categories. And those categories are power, including continuous power and peak surge power. We're going to be looking at the storage capacity of each battery system, uh, the warranty of each product, uh, of course the cost and the cost to have it installed. And then finally what I like to call the X factor. And what the X factor is, is it's a way that I can award additional points to each product where there may not be a direct one-to-one -one feature comparison, but where it could have a tremendous impact or benefit for you as a potential system owner. All right, let's get into the comparison. Now, before we talk, take a look at each product one at a time, I want to explain the configuration that we're looking at here. Because as you guys know, a lot of these battery products can be configured in many different ways. Uh, for Tesla power walls, for example, you could have one Tesla power wall, or you could have six or seven power walls all stacked together in parallel. And likewise with the Generac power cell, you could have a Generac power cell with the minimum three battery cells, or with the maximum of six battery cells per cabinet. So the configuration that we're going to be looking at today, for the Tesla Powerwall side, we're going to be looking at a dual Tesla Powerwall system or a double stack system. That is two of the Tesla Powerwall Plus batteries stacked together in parallel. On the Generac side, we're going to be looking at the Generac PowerCell 18, which is a single unit, has a single inverter with a single battery cabinet and then all six of the slots in the battery cabinet are going to be maxed out. So giving a total capacity of 18 kilowatt hours. The reason why we're choosing this configuration, again, this video is for people that are looking for heavy load backup. We're not talking about just providing light backup power for your refrigerator, your lights, or your home office. We're talking about battery backup systems that have enough horsepower to handle heavy loads like water pumps and central air conditioning compressors. Uh, here at Solar Surge, we do a lot of solar battery backup projects, and most of our projects are in southern states like Texas, Florida, and Arizona, where most of our clients are demanding a higher power capacity system so that you can have your central air conditioning comfortably during an outage. So those are the configurations we're looking at today. Also, I should mention the difference in the architecture of the two systems, uh, the Tesla Powerwall being an AC-coupled system, versus the Generac power cell being a DC coupled system. Now again, when we talk about AC coupled versus DC coupled, what we're talking about is where does the integration between the solar power system and the battery take place? Does it take place at the AC circuit breaker panel, like which is the case with the Tesla power wall? Or does it take place directly between the solar panels and the batteries at the DC side? So before there's any kind of conversion taking place, the solar panels can charge the battery directly. That's what's called a DC coupled architecture. Generally, we see that more uh, gives higher performance in, a, in an off-grid type of setting. The other thing to consider is an interoperable architecture versus a closed system. Now, the Tesla Powerwall, being that it is an AC coupled battery, and, and there's no proprietary communication between the battery and the solar panels, means that it is one of the most, if not the most, interoperable battery systems out there. So if you already have a solar power system, let's say you have a grid-tied solar power system and you have solar panels on the roof, maybe you have micro-inverters, or maybe you have a central inverter, like a solar edge type system. You can add on a Tesla power wall to that system by simply wiring it into your AC circuit breaker panel. You don't have to rewire anything on the roof or change anything on the roof. 
With the DC coupled uh, architecture, it's more of a closed system end to end, especially the way Generac implements it, because you'll have Generac PV link optimizers on the roof uh, connected on the solar array, charging into the rebus, what they call rebus, uh, where, which connects the battery, the solar, and the inverter system on the DC side, and then AC power going out to the house, and then another circuit to sell back to the power company. So two very different architectures here. AC coupled, and, and the way Tesla does AC coupled, is a very open, interoperable architecture, great for adding battery to an existing solar system. The DC coupled closed architecture for Generac is designed to be more of a complete end-to-end -end system. All right, now let's look at each of these products up close. All right, up first, we're looking at the Tesla Powerwall 2 Plus. Now again, in this configuration, we're looking at dual Tesla Powerwall 2 Plus, which yields a total continuous power rating of 15.2 kilowatts and a peak power rating of 18 kilowatts. Now again, guys, that is a lot of power and it's designed this way, again, for those that are looking for enough power, not just to run your 120 volt lights or wall outlets or refrigerator and TV, but you wanna have enough additional horsepower to run a central air conditioning compressor units or maybe deep water pumps or other heavy motor loads like that. You know, just the central air conditioning unit by itself, you're looking at a five ton central air conditioning unit, just that unit by itself could pull six or 7,000 watts continuous, and it could surge up to 12,000 watts when it's starting out. So although the 15.2 kilowatts continuous 18 kilowatt surge may sound like a lot, when you're running central air conditioning, in addition to all of your other home loads, like TV, internet routers, uh, refrigerators, freezers, and, and so forth, uh, it really is not that much power. Um, so this is what it takes to meet that demand. If you're looking for either whole house backup or enough of your house that you can comfortably run your heating and air conditioning. In terms of storage capacity, with the two batteries combined together, you get a, two, a, a total storage capacity of 27 kilowatt hours. Um, now again, 27 kilowatt hours is, is quite a lot. The average home in the U.S. consumes about 30 kilowatt hours per day, and that's running everything. That's not trying to conserve at all. So if you are in a grid down mode and you can be a little bit more mindful of where you're spending your energy and which appliances are essential versus non-essential, then 27 hour, uh, kilowatt hours can give you quite a long running time before the solar has to kick in and recharge it for you. In terms of the warranty, the Powerwall 2 Plus still has that 10 year unlimited cycle warranty, which is what we're seeing pretty much all the top tier battery products now is offering that 10 year warranty. In terms of the cost, the cost of two Tesla Powerwalls is slightly higher than what the single PowerCell 18 will cost, but it's only about one or $2,000 more expensive. Um, again, if you're talking about a, a whole house battery backup system, guys, these, these are not cheap systems. You know, if you're doing this, you're probably not doing it because you're, you're expecting any kind of financial return on investment. This is more of an insurance policy. This is uh, you know, a system that's gonna protect your home from a power outage and it basically give you that peace of mind that you can carry on your lifestyle, even if it's grid down or blackout conditions. And then finally, for the X Factor category, I'm gonna award the Powerwall 2 Plus four additional X Factor points. Uh, there's two things that I think Tesla does very, very well here. Um, one is the Tesla app. Uh, if you're already a Tesla vehicle owner, you can basically use one integrated application to track your car, track your home, track what your battery's doing, track what your solar's doing. So it's nice having that all in one platform. The other area where, where Tesla really outshines the competition is with its auto bidder software. So if you live in a, in a time of use market where you have different utility rates for on peak hours and off peak hours, you can actually take advantage of your battery storage capacity to purchase energy when it's cheap. So basically charge energy into your battery when it's cheap, typically between midnight and 5 a.m. And then during peak hours, which is usually the afternoon and early evening, instead of having to pull any energy in from the power company during peak hours, you can just draw it out of the battery. So this is called time of use or rate arbitrage. And the auto bidder software allows you to basically program the, the, the on peak, off peak rate schedule into the battery and then the Tesla software will kind of take care of it for you, knowing when it should buy, when it should sell, when it should charge, when it should discharge. So uh, for a total, plus four points, and it really is coming in from most of the, the Tesla software innovations with the app. All right, now let's take a look at PowerCell. All right, with the Generac PowerCell system, 
we're looking at a continuous power rating of 9 kilowatts with a surge power up to 11 kilowatts. Now again, that is using the maxed out 18 kilowatt hour configuration with all six battery cells installed. So again, gives you a lot of power, certainly gives you more power than any one single battery from any competitor, uh, but just not quite as much as what the double stack Tesla Powerwall would give you. Uh, remember guys, Tesla upgraded their battery power specs just a few months ago. Uh, it used to be limited to 5,000 watts continuous, 7,000 watts peak. Now Tesla upgraded it to 7.6 kilowatts continuous, meaning you can run it all day long at that, and then peak power up to 9,000 watts for motor starting. So Generac is lagging a little bit behind here with this particular configuration. Uh, in terms of storage capacity, as we mentioned, with all six battery cells, you're going to get a total usable storage capacity of 18 kilowatt hours, which again is better than and larger than any single battery product on the market. But when, when you take two Tesla batteries stacked together, it's still falling a little bit behind in terms of capacity. In terms of the warranty on the product, Generac again offers that kind of industry standard 10 year warranty. And as far as the cost, you actually will be able to get this system installed at a slightly lower cost than two Tesla Powerwalls. Uh, as of this recording, if you're looking for a full turnkey professionally installed system, you can get this Generac PowerCell 18 for about $2,000 or $2,500 less than a comparable solar system using two Tesla Powerwalls. So Generac has slight advantage here. And then finally, I'm gonna give Generac also plus four X Factor points. And where Generac really shines is in its load management capability, or what they call intelligent load management. Now guys, remember, Generac was not in the solar business for long. They actually, they actually bought a solar and battery storage company called Pika Energy, and they rebranded it as the Generac PowerCell solution. But what Generac did have is they had decades and decades of load management experience that was really came from their, their generator systems, you know, their home standby generator systems, where depending on the size of the generator, you couldn't necessarily run everything in the house at the same time. So those loads need to be managed. And the same thing is true when you're looking at a solar and battery backup system. Even though we might say this is a whole house backup solution, you're not gonna be running everything in the house at the same time. And so with the Generac Intelligent Load Management System, all you have to do as the potential owner is just tell the electrician what your priorities are for your heavy load circuits. Let's say maybe air conditioning is number one, maybe the water heater is number two, maybe the clothes dryer is number three, uh, maybe the, the electric oven is number four, and so forth. Again, we're, we're talking about your heavy load circuits only, something that's gonna be on a, a 30 amp circuit breaker or larger. Well, if the battery can't run all of those things simultaneously, then the Generac smart management modules, which are electric on, electronically controlled relays that clamp onto each of your heavy load circuits, they will manage the loads for you based on the priorities that you set. So with this setup, you could essentially put the whole house on backup power, but if you started getting towards the limits of the equipment, the Generac system would know to power down your lower priority items you know, starting at the lowest priority, working its way up towards the highest to make sure that your essential items would never be without power. And then you don't have to, you know, stand down there at the circuit breaker panel, you know, flipping circuit breakers, trying to balance it all out yourself. The system takes care of that for you. So uh, kudos to Generac. I think they did a great job with the intelligent load management uh, technology here. Okay, so in summary, we're looking at 15.2 kilowatts continuous power with 18 kilowatts peak power for the Tesla Powerwall compared to 9 kilowatts continuous 11 kilowatts peak with the Generac PowerCell. The Tesla Powerwall configuration offers 27 kilowatt hours of storage capacity compared to 18 kilowatt hours on the PowerCell. Both products offer a 10 year warranty. The Generac beats on price slightly, again about $2,500 cheaper for a full turnkey install. And then both products receive plus four X factor points. Okay, so if we total it up, Tesla receives five out of five on power, five out of five on capacity, five out of five on warranty, three out of five on cost because it is a slightly higher uh, price configuration when you do multiple Tesla batteries compared to the one power cell. And then plus four X factor points for a total of 22 points. Now on the power cell, 
we're going to have 4 out of 5 for power being slightly less, 4 out of 5 for capacity again being slightly less, 5 out of 5 for warranty, it's the same 10 year warranty, uh, 4 out of 5 on cost, since PowerSail is the lower priced configuration, really the lowest price configuration for what I would consider a whole house backup uh, category system. And then again, plus four X factor points for all of its intelligent load management capabilities so that you can connect the whole house for backup and not have to worry about turning on and off the appliances on your own. So Generac here receives a total of 21 points. So guys, again, in these comparison videos are not so much as saying this brand is better than that brand, but it's really thinking through and understanding what your needs and requirements are and what's gonna be the best fit for you. Now again, this video is for people that are looking for solar with battery backup to be able to provide heavy load handling capability like central air conditioning. And so for that particular application, I'm gonna be recommending a dual Powerwall 2 Plus configuration over a Generac PowerCell 18 configuration with, with all, all everything being equal. Um, there, there are cases where the Generac PowerCell may make more sense, especially if you already have a Generac home standby generator and you wanna be able to connect your generator to PowerCell to give you a, an additional way that you could recharge batteries if the weather was bad and the solar wasn't keeping up. Tesla at present does not have any generator recharge capability. So again, guys, it's really all about thinking through what are your needs, what are your goals, and then you know we, if you need, we can help you match up equipment that are gonna meet those goals. You know, so as always, if you're in the process of evaluating solar or battery options for your house, if you'd like to get a comparison quote or would like to just kind of talk through with us what type of equipment might be the best match for your home, then feel free to, to reach out to us on the link below there. Uh, it'll just take you to our website. You can either, either give us a call or uh, better yet, schedule an appointment with one of our system designers and we just sit down for about half an hour and just talk through your project and what your needs and goals are. Uh, of course, guys, if you're getting good value from the information on the videos too, please go ahead and click on the like button uh, and also click on the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. That way, as the new videos are being published, it'll come up in your feed and you can, you can keep up with us that way. Well, thanks again for tuning into the Solar Surge channel today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.